now I'm going to read The Pig Children. Because that's the book I found on the woman who I killed. And she was at an orphanage. And I guess this is what she lived by, The Pig Children. By Tyson Bain. No one, not the oldest dark elf of Mount Dagoth, er, or the ancient sage of solitude himself, can recall a time when the orc did not ravage our fair Tamriel. Whatever foul and pestilent daedra of oblivion conjured them up, could scarcely have created a more constant threat to the well-being of the civilized races of Tamriel than the obnoxious orc. Orcs are thankfully easy to recognize from other humanoids by their size, commonly 40 pertons in height and 15,000 engades in weight. Their brutal pig-like features and their stench, they are consistently belligerent, morally grotesque, intellectually moronic, and unclean. By all rights, the civilized races of Tamriel should have been able to purge the land of their blight eras ago. But their ferocity, animal cunning, and courteous tribal loyalty have made them inevitable as leeches in a stagnant pool. Tales of Orcus Barbarity precede written record when Jastiga, Jastiga wrote of the order of Diagnus joining the armies of Daggerfall and Sentinel. To hold at bay the wicked orcs in their foul orsinium fastness and burnt awe in cleansing flame. In First Era 950, she assumed that any reader would be aware of the savagery of the orcs. When the siege was completed 30 years later, after the death of many heroes, including Gaiden, Shinji, and the destruction of Orsinium scattered the Orcus survivors throughout the Warthgarian Mountains. She further wrote, The free peoples rejoiced for that their ancient fell enemy was dispersed into diverse parts. Obviously, the Orcs had been terrorizing a region of the Iliac Bay, at least since the early years of the First Era. <coughs> well, that's the pig children.